Welcome to Day 3 of Daily AI Wizard, your 20-minute journey to mastering AI. I'm Anastasia, your AI guide, here to make learning AI simple and fun. Today, we're comparing three big concepts, AI, machine learning, and deep learning. We'll explore what they are, how they're related, and how they differ, with some exciting examples along the way. Let's get started. Before we dive in, let's recap day two. We explored the three types of AI, narrow, general, and super intelligent. Narrow AI is specialized and exists today, like ChatGPT, which Sophia showed us. General AI aims to be human-like but is still in research. Super intelligent AI would surpass humans, but it's a future possibility. I hope you shared which type excites you most in the comments. Now let's move on to today's topic. Today we'll cover a lot of ground. We'll start by defining AI, machine learning, and deep learning, then see how they're related. We'll explore their key differences with examples to make things clear. Plus, Sophia will join us for a demo showing a machine learning application in action. This lesson will help you understand the building blocks of AI, so let's begin. Let's start with AI, which we touched on in day one. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is when machines mimic human intelligence. It's a broad field that includes abilities like learning, reasoning, and problem solving. Think of AI as the big picture of intelligent systems, covering everything from chatbots like me to self-driving cars. AI is the overarching goal of creating machines that can think and act like humans, and it encompasses many techniques, including the ones we'll talk about today. Now let's zoom in on machine learning, or ML, which is a subset of AI. Machine learning is when machines learn from data without being explicitly programmed. Instead of writing rules for every scenario, we give ML systems data and they figure out patterns on their own. For example, email spam filters learn from your emails to decide what's spam and what's not. Machine learning powers many AI applications today, making it a key part of the AI world. Machine learning comes in three main types, each suited for different tasks. First, supervised learning uses labeled data, like teaching a child with examples. Second, Unsupervised learning works with unlabeled data, finding patterns on its own. Third, reinforcement learning learns through rewards, like training a dog with treats. We'll dive deeper into these types in future lessons, but for now, know that they're the building blocks of machine learning, helping AI systems learn in different ways. Next, we have deep learning, or DL, which is a subset of machine learning. Deep learning uses neural networks, structures inspired by the human brain, with many layers to process data. For example, deep learning powers image recognition, like identifying cats in photos. It's incredibly powerful, but requires lots of data and computing power to work well. Deep learning is behind many advanced AI applications today, taking machine learning to the next level. So, how are AI, machine learning, and deep learning related? Think of AI as the big umbrella. It's the broad field of creating intelligent machines. Machine learning is a subset of AI focusing on learning from data. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning, using neural networks for more complex tasks. Each layer builds on the previous one, making AI a family of techniques that work together to create smart systems. Let's compare AI, 
machine learning, and deep learning by their scope. AI is the broadest. It includes all intelligent systems, from simple rules to advanced learning. Machine learning is narrower, focusing on data-driven learning without explicit programming. Deep learning is even narrower, relying on neural networks for specific, complex tasks. The scope narrows as we go deeper, but each level adds more power and complexity to what machines can do. Another key difference is data and computing needs. AI varies. It can use simple rules or learning, so its needs depend on the method. Machine learning needs data to learn and moderate computing power, like for spam filtering. Deep learning, however, requires lots of data and high computing power. Think of image recognition, where it processes millions of images to learn. The more advanced the technique, the more resources it demands, which is why deep learning often needs powerful machines. Let's look at examples to see the differences in action. AI includes complex systems like self-driving cars, which combine many techniques to work. Machine learning powers recommendation systems, like Netflix suggesting shows based on your viewing habits. Deep learning excels in tasks like voice recognition. Think of Alexa understanding your commands. Each approach shines in different areas, showing how they complement each other within the AI family. To see machine learning in action, let's bring in Sophia for a quick demo. She'll use Google's Teachable Machine, a free tool to show how machine learning can classify images, like telling cats from dogs. This will give you a hands-on look at how ML works. Over to you, Sophia. Hi, I'm Sophia, your demo guide for Daily AI Wizard. Today, I'll show you machine learning with Google's Teachable Machine. I've uploaded some images of cats and dogs to train the model. Cats in one category, dogs in another. See how the ML model learned from the data and classified a new image? That's machine learning in action, learning patterns from data to make decisions. Back to you, Anastasia. Thanks, Sophia. That was a fantastic demo. Let's break down how Teachable Machine works. It uses supervised learning, one of the ML types we mentioned. The steps are simple. First, you provide data like the cat and dog images Sophia uploaded. Then, you train the model, letting it learn patterns. Finally, you test it with new images, and the model classifies them. Machine learning finds patterns in the data to make decisions, which is why it's so powerful for tasks like classification. Machine learning has many real-world applications. It's used in fraud detection, like spotting suspicious transactions in banking. Predictive maintenance in factories uses ML to predict when machines might fail, saving time and money. Even personalization, like Spotify curating playlists for you, relies on machine learning. ML is practical and widely used, making our lives easier in so many ways. Deep learning, on the other hand, excels in more complex tasks. It powers image recognition, like facial recognition, to unlock your phone. 
Natural language processing, such as translating languages, often uses deep learning. Think of Google Translate. Autonomous driving, like Tesla's vision systems, also relies on deep learning to process camera data and make decisions. Deep learning is perfect for complex tasks that need lots of data and power. So which should you use? AI, machine learning, or deep learning? It depends on the task. For simple tasks, traditional AI or basic machine learning might be enough. For data-driven tasks, like the Teachable Machine demo, use machine learning. For complex tasks, like image recognition, deep learning is the way to go. Your choice depends on the data you have and the resources available, like computing power. It's all about picking the right tool for the job. What's next for AI, machine learning, and deep learning? AI is moving towards general and superintelligent AI, as we discussed in day two. Machine learning is focusing on more efficient algorithms that need less data to learn. Deep learning is improving neural networks, opening up even wider applications, like better autonomous systems. The future is exciting, with advancements that will make AI even more powerful and helpful in our lives. Let's recap what we've learned today. AI is the broad field of creating intelligent systems. Machine learning is a subset of AI, focusing on learning from data, like Sophia showed with Teachable Machine. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning using neural networks for complex tasks like image recognition. Here's your task. Try Google's Teachable Machine yourself. Train it to classify something simple, like cats and dogs, and share your results in the comments. For more resources, visit wisdomacademy.ai to keep learning. That's it for Day 3, everyone. Thank you for joining me on this AI journey. I'm Anastasia, and I hope you enjoyed learning about AI, machine learning, and deep learning. If you found this lesson helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell for daily lessons. Tomorrow we'll dive deeper into how machine learning works. Let's hear from Sophia before we go. I loved showing you Teachable Machine today, and I can't wait for more demos in this series. Day four is going to be amazing, so don't miss it. See you tomorrow, wizards.